question. Does the church encourage freeloading? I used to have a buddy years ago who owned a couple of businesses. He and I both owned businesses around the same time. It was really a blessing because whenever he would have a business need, I could support him and, and likewise him, me, if I had a business need. And um, so it was good to be able to depend on a, another brother who was equal in their uh, desire to have something. And, but I remember my buddy used to talk about owning, he had a couple of art galleries in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. And they were African art galleries. And then there were people who would, when they found out he was the owner of the business, they would patronize his business. And some people would come there and they would ask for help. Um, he said he always knew when that it was a certain kind of person that would come into his store. He knew that they were gonna ask for something. And ironically, every time that person came in, they started talking about how strong of a Christian they were and playing to his sentimental side. You know, so they was like, you know, I've been really serving the Lord and I've been really just trying to keep God first. And, and then they would cry with it. And it was it's repetitious, he said, because it would be the same story, but different people. They would come in and they would sing the same song. And he got, got a few times at first and he gave a lot of his earnings, a lot of his money in the, in the beginning stages. And then he began to sort of get wind of this and just said, man, I got to be careful with these people who are claiming to be Christians because they are literally using Christianity to get what I've earned. <laughs> and so he, he, uh, sold that business and then he ended up uh, buying another business in Decatur, Georgia, a laundromat business. And lo and behold, same story in a different state, same thing, same types of people coming in, begging and freeloading, using Christianity, God and Jesus to gain advantage. I was like, man, now this is synonymous with my situation because, and I was a little more gullible, I think. <laughs> I don't think I was as smart as my bud. When I, I had my business and I passed at my church, I noticed that, you know, people would come to the church, but they would, when they found out that I was a giver, oh my God. So many people came and I gave away cars and paid light bills. And the interesting thing was that once the reservoir stopped, the people stopped coming. Those same people that I paid their light bills, gave them cars, um, done these things for them. All of a sudden, they started moving further and further to the back door of the church. Until eventually they were gone and after a while I began to learn my lesson that wait a minute people are really seriously using this as a crutch and I'm laughing about it but if we think about this thing that you know we look at Christianity in terms of what I can get only now I, I know that Jesus Jesus is a giver and God blesses and all that but we have to be careful not to teach people to be reliant on other people's hard work. That's different. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're in a bad space and you need help and all, you know, we, we get that. But we also understand laziness. And we also understand the lack of zealousness. And we also understand a lack of effort. And, and, and we have to be really cognizant of that when we start giving to people who don't really deserve it. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with being a blessing to people. But I'm going to tell you something. 
I'm almost 48 years old. And I've learned, I'm not going to let you come and take what I've slaved and worked so hard to get for me and my family. I'm not going to let you take food out of my children's mouths. I'm not going to do it. So I want to encourage the church to not encourage freeloading. Thank you again for tuning in to this segment of Not Church. And remember, like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, it's okay to think until we meet again. Peace. Everybody won't be on top. Yeah. Whether the roof or the mountaintop. Right.